I'm not mixing a cocktail. Oh, distress oxides. <laughs> Hopefully there's more than two people out there. Oh, five, good. Morning. Morning, don't be shy, say hello. I can't get that straight. Morning, who's there? Say hi. Hear that racket outside. That's actually quite quiet. Because it's not right outside my door, at the, my window at the moment. It's down the road. They're digging holes for the gas pipes across, across the road. Well, right in front of my craft room. Deep joy. Nobody's saying hello. Let's see if I can get this up. Ah, oh, there you are. There's the comments. Why weren't they coming through? Morning, Louise, Alison, Barbara, Jennifer, Debbie, Sonia, Christine. Morning, Sue. Okay, so we'll kick off. Um, it's not many of you here, but uh, we'll make a start because I've got four demos planned for you during this uh, live. And um, I've got a delivery due uh, between quarter to 12 and quarter to one. So um, we'll see how far we get anyway. So I'll just pop this on here so you've got something to look at. Uh, we're looking at the brand new Fairy Hugs stamps which are launching on the craft store tomorrow that's wednesday at 6 p.m so it's a one day special so we've got 6 p.m and 8 p.m tomorrow and then on thursday we've got 8 a.m 12 noon and 4 p.m there are 34 brand new stamps um on the shows so there's lots to choose from it's not all just fairies there are uh, a few fairies about half a dozen fairies uh, but there's lots of foliage in there. There's there's a peacock. There's well, there's lots, there's lots, lots, lots. Um, obviously it won't be um on the Crustor um site until six p.m. tomorrow, and I I have got the stamps in stock, but um they won't be live on my website until uh midnight on Wednesday night. So after the one day special's finished, midnight uh not Wednesday night, Thursday night midnight they'll be live. Uh, and uh, I'll send them out from Friday onwards. Anyway, let's crack on and let's make ourselves a background. Um, oh, what you're looking at here is Pixie, Trixie and Dixie, who are the three little fairies here. We've got the um, uh, uh, seed pods here, or seed heads. Uh, we've got Fifi here and she's blowing out a dandelion. She's got a dandelion or she's got um, bubbles to blow out and we'll look at her a bit later. And uh, then we've got the... Um, uh, flutter dust here so you can see there's little kind of a dragonfly and butterfly in there as well as little stars so we've got a few stamps on there it's just on an oxide background we're going to make a similar background to that that was just something for you to look at um, so what we're starting with is we're starting with two pieces of um, this is the sentiment of your super smooth card and uh, we're going to do a technique that I've done loads and loads of times before and it's in um, uh, Diane Reevely's book here, uh, Distinctly Dilusional, and it is, which I don't know if she's given it a, a name, it's, it's a super, super book, this, um, this one, uh, she calls this Scribbling Layers, mine's looking a little bit different from that because uh, I'm using oxides and it's it's not always that easy to, to stamp onto blobs of oxide, so I'm not going to be doing the blobby bits. But she gives you step by steps and it's a super book so uh, if you ever come across that it's a really good one to get i did have it but uh, it's sold out now i'm not sure if i can get any more right so super smooth card so we're, we're doing oxides as i said and we're doing the spice marmalade 
we're doing fired brick and we're also doing fossilized amber so we're staying with the the warm colors and obviously with oxides we need to give it a little bit of a uh, a shake I don't know why these the comments aren't. If I don't reply to you, the comments aren't coming up properly. I don't know why. See, if there's loads coming in. Yeah, sorry, Barbara. It's it's just not refreshing for some unknown reason. Hi, Jacqueline. First time on here. Well, that what's the excuse to not being here before? <laughs> If you want to look back, there are loads and loads of lives um, on my um, in my video section, and then I've also put them all on my YouTube channel as well afterwards. So we're going to start with the lightest colour first, which is our fossilised amber. Goodness knows why, because I change my mind all the time. So I'm just giving it a shake because that ball bearing needs to move some of it around. But I'm not spraying. This is a very easy way to use your um, your oxides without getting them everywhere. So we're misting the a piece of the card with lots of water, get it really, really wet, and it can take it. And then we're going to take the nozzle off and we're just going to scribble. Now, anybody that's been to, um, I think it was a Sheffield workshop with um, Phil, a craftathon, we've done this before. I think, Sue, I think you've done this before with me. So all we're doing is scribbling. So let's scribble with that one and then give it another mist to make sure it moves around a little bit. It's all in Diane's book. And then we're going to go, in fact, let's, let's slip, skip one. Let's go for the um, fire brick next, which I'll probably regret. But sometimes the uh, you can transfer some of the ink to the, boss, to the oxide. But, you know, I'm not really precious about them. Don't worry about your card. We're just getting colour down more than anything. Okay, nice and wet. So that's my fired brick. And I do have the oxides on my website. They're all special order items because I just order them in as and when people need them. There are some that are out of stock, so they are subject to availability. So this is your spice marmalade. And you tend to find that whatever colour you put on the top, you get most of, for some unknown reason. So you can see as I'm obviously as I'm scribbling, I'm actually kind of interfering with what's going on underneath. Lots and lots of colour. So I think before what we've done is we've kind of left it to dry. But I've actually kind of followed the book, as it were. So take the other piece and we're going to see if we can kind of line it up so we get most of our colour on. And then you'll get two different backgrounds here. Grab some kitchen roll. And you'll see when we do the reveal. If you don't like your inky backgrounds, don't worry, because some of these, the demos I'm going to do during this Facebook Live aren't inky. But I just thought it might be nice to actually show you how to make the background, because I might not get time to do this when we're on air, but we'll see. Okay, so now you pull this away. And then we've got two backgrounds. So you've got this one, which was obviously the one that we scribbled. And this one you can see mostly on the fired brick. You can see where we've 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 actually um, kind of scribbled with the nozzle. And what happens is that because the fired brick is the darkest, it'll settle into the the uh, shapes that the other two colours have left. It kind of just sinks into it. Think of it, the nozzle light scoring it, but it isn't really. And then on this one, it's a little bit more muted. So you've got patches of colour. So you get a kind of a two for one here. Obviously going to leave that to dry on the floor or somewhere. And it'll flatten out and then we just trim it down to size. Easy peasy. It's one of my favourite backgrounds to do because like I say, you don't have to cover the whole desk with with a towel or a big piece of card or anything it just because it just stays quite contained right let's put that somewhere over there right so we've got a piece somewhere here it is that is dry so this is obviously not the nozzle side this is the um the other side and a little bit more intense I'm just going to keep on refreshing the screen just in case I miss some of your comments. Okay. 
yeah it's it's really, really easy it's a great background to do i've got loads and loads and loads of these i've got one that's oh, yeah. let's see where we've got this one's got purple in it a little bit messier the purple one not too, too keen on that one because it's obviously got a bit of brown um that one's got a stencil on it as well. That's um, Crap Pistachio, Wilty Violet and Mermaid Lagoon. They work nicely together. Right, so let's do some stamping. So what I thought we'd do with this one, and I put all my stamps back in there. I've tried to be organised because so, it takes a while to sort through all the stamps. So I thought what we'd do is... And what I and I've trimmed this, so it's, it will go in my journal. So it's um, five by seven and a quarter inches. What I thought we'd do is I have loads of these seed pods on the bottom. Why have I got him out? I don't know why I've got him out. We're going to have leave room in your garden for the fairies to dance. We're going to have that. Might be there or it might go in the middle. I'm not sure. And then we've got these little fairies, these little scamps, Pixie, Trixie and Dixie. And see, the one I did before, this one, is tall slim card. So it's not deep enough for me to get the sentiment on. I didn't really think that through. <laughs> I just thought, I'm going to use that background. So we're going to have them all dancing down here. Across the seed pods that's the idea and then we might bring some foliage in at the top so let's get stamping the seed pods now I must remember that I don't want to stamp the seed pods very high up because I need to set my sentiment in but what we could do is go kind of down like that so my sentiment will sit in the middle think about it a little bit Got my block so we're gonna get we think we're gonna go for acorn First fine Claire. Get my very messy piece of card. And I'm just gonna check because obviously I haven't I haven't used this one today. I'm just gonna check that I'm gonna stamp it nicely because obviously I'm not using my stamp stamping platform for this. So yeah, that's stamped beautifully. These are I think these are lotus seed heads. I seem to remember from my flare arranging days that this that's what these are called. So this one's going to go on the outside here and this one's going to go further up that's the bin men coming give it a good old press look at that against the background fabulous absolutely fabulous so let's have this one perhaps down a bit remember we need to come down a bit and we've got to get our fairies in don't mind if my sentiment's not bang in the middle as long as i can get it in somewhere so let's have another one about there so still keeping quite low try not to get them to touch i've only got this piece of paper here so i don't have to do any cleaning I hate cleaning and then this one's going to go high up I probably just caught the other one yeah. okay so there's my row of lotus seed heads I hope they are lotus seed heads if I'm going to call them that right so that's that then we're going to go into our stamping platform and I think what we'll do is I might be able to stamp them all at the same time which would be very handy because then I can get all my placements properly obviously you can colour these in if you want to but it's optional and the watercolour blending brush pens will sit nicely on top of the oxides you don't need to worry about that I'm going to go into my small pla platform so that it can fit here nicely I've lost a magnet again. Goodness knows what I've done with it. It must be here somewhere. I have got spare magnets on my website if you need any of those. So let's just anchor it. Be careful of the ink because the ink will stay wet for a while. Don't, if you're colouring in, don't go and drag your 
hands across it like I did the other day. I'd completed a card, colouring in the last little bit and dragged my hands over a wet bit of ink and completely ruined. Start again. I thought, oh, why is that not showing? Oh, my laptop's turned off for some unknown reason. There we go. Right, so, yeah, I thought I'm not going to stress. It's happened. Learn from your mistakes. <laughs> As you do. I've had to close all the windows because of this racket outside, which is a little bit annoying because uh, I'm getting quite warm now. Right, so this one is Pixie. I think you'll be wanting to have all these together and they do, if you're buying from the craft store, they are they do all come together. Oh look, there's plenty of room, plenty of room. Right, so she's gonna be, uh, let's see, she can come up there like that and then so that one is Trixie this must be Dixie this is Dixie and she could be right over there she could be the ringleader in fact she could be jump just about to jump down onto that one let's have them like that let's have that over there a bit Warm, warm, warm. Right, okay. Make sure that's straight. The lines are brilliant on your stamping platform to get everything straight. So this should be quite quick. Might need to do it twice so the, because the fairies are obviously silhouette. We want to be able to see them. Oh, you're working. Oh, yes. I know. I know how you feel. Every day is a work day for me anyway. I have to actually not be here to not work. Right. Again, we're going with the acorn. And it gives them a good old press. Because I've seated this in the corner, even if it moves, I should be absolutely fine. I think these are real scamps, these, these fairies. I think they're, they're probably naughty fairies. Just going to give it a little bit more because they're silhouette. But I'm not going to re-ink uh, the sentiment. The sentiment's absolutely fine. So in fact, we're going to just fetch that out all together. These are such fun. And obviously, I'm really, I'm really just really getting to know my stamps. I don't know where the other bits are. That's one. Look for that in a minute. Yeah, I'm only really just getting to know my stamps now. So I keep on thinking about new things to do with them. I've done some more backgrounds this morning. We may or may not get to use one of them. And as you can see, I've got a big pile of backgrounds to take with me because I don't know how many demos I'm going to get done in an hour. I think this is a really strong release from Fairy Hugs. Um, and I think that, that all the bundles are, are, are really, you know, desirable. I have to say that, of course, but it's true. There we go. Oh, that could be the distress oxide interfering with her there. I'm going to just put a little bit more on there just in case it isn't the oxide. You might find occasionally when you've got um, a new stamp that even the VersaFine Claire pulls a bit. Just clean the stamp and then go again and you're absolutely fine. Yeah, that's the oxide. Okay. There's my, my fairies so far. It's quite nice to colour in the uh, wings as well. I mean, I won't do it now, but it, that's quite a nice thing to do. But let's, let's add some foliage around the top as well. So we've got a little bit of interest going on. So I've just put my fairies away, otherwise they're going to be in the way when I want to do some other stamping. So this one's going to go on here. It's quite nice that these are diddy little stamps actually, because that makes, means they're less expensive. Let's put one of those on there. And that's her. I know this is a boring bit, but it all can't be exciting, can it? Let's go there. What's that off? 
Oh, that's off dance, isn't it? Are you brooming your garden for the fairies to dance? Such a great sentiment. And the acetate's great because you can see exactly where you want to put your um, stamps. I don't know what's going on with Facebook and my laptop at the moment. It's driving me nuts. Oh, that goes in there. That's it. Right, boring bit over. Right, so we want to grab some foliage. And we've got this one called Frilly Branches, which is like an archway, but obviously you don't need to use it as an archway. And we're going to just stamp some around the top. We only need to use one, I should think. Don't need to know that they're right and left. Obviously, again, we're going to go with the acorn. And as I've done such a good job, I want to make sure that that's going to stamp nicely. Yeah, that's going to stamp brilliantly. So we'll have that coming in there. can just stamp the top bit along the top just gives it a frame and where do we want to go with this one let's see let's just take that like that and there we go Finished. Probably just add a little bit of um, fire brick oxide around the edge, which I didn't actually have here in front of me. Be careful you don't smudge anything. I tend to drag it like this because I know that the ink's wet, and if you do the normal kind of thing like that, you're going to smudge it. And I smudge far too many do that there we go just finishes it off and then that's going to go in my journal that fit nicely in my journal just like that see the pop of black really sets it off uh, yeah Jean they, they I, I can't put them live until after the one day special so they go live at midnight on Thursday night so the one day special is starts on Wednesday at 6 runs all the way through thursday then at thursday night at midnight they'll go live on my website and then i'll start sending them out on friday so actually i shouldn't really say it but if you buy them from me you'll get them quicker fairy hugs are very quick at sending things out so they will probably be packing on friday and they might be in the country on monday um so you'll get them later next week but um yeah I, I, I have got them, but I, they're not live yet. Right, next, what should we do next? Let's do a simple one next. Let's do an easy peasy one. Not that that was particularly difficult at all. How are we doing for time? 25 past. What else have I missed? Da, 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 da. Nothing, hopefully. Right, so let's do... I did post a picture of... I did post that one 
which is quite a nice one with Fifi. There she's blowing her bubbles instead. So it's quite nice to do borders. Um, so you see, we've got a few here. So it's quite nice to do the border kind of stamps. So I thought we'd do one of those. So these are all new stamps that are on the, um, the shows tomorrow and Thursday. So this is watercolor card again just easier to put one on a colour in and so we need to start ourselves a border off so I'm just using um, low tack tape this is the scotch low tack tape and I do have this on my website and we're going to just let's do it properly let's do it so that we're quite near the bottom we only want a little border. I can never get these straight, ever, 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 ever. If you look at mine, they're all wonky. Then we want to have a little bit of a border. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I might make too much. Do, 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 do. Let's have it there. You probably can't see it. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the dandelion head. So we're going to put that in there. In fact, we'll just move it up a tiny bit so we can get more of the dandelion in. Start at the bottom, drag it up like that. So when Fifi comes in, you need to make sure that she's going to sit properly. She's going to sit like that because she'll sit on the bottom of where the tape is there. So that's fine. She's going to be absolutely fine. We'd we'll probably use the dance sentiment again. Um, but we want to put some colour on there. So... What colour should we do? Dandelions are yellow, aren't they? So let's do a yellow. And I'm using my mini distress because distress it's easier. Which one do I want to use? That one will do. And these are the Craft Artist um, um, blending brushes, which I do have on my website as well. Let's go for mustard seed because that's a nice bright yellow. I tend to use Distress Ink rather than Distress Oxide, although I've just used the Distress Oxide sprays, uh, because I think you tend to, um, you tend to, it's easier to stamp onto. You don't tend to get that kind of resist from the pigment. So this is mustard seed, so we're just going to put a little bit of ink on the border. I'm very impatient with these. <laughs> Because they don't, unlike my oxides, that, that give me colour really, really well. And even if I went uh, with the blending brushes, I'm, uh, you know, the blending pads rather than the brushes, I'm very impatient. So I don't do this as well as I ought to. I'm just getting colour on. And that there, we normally mop up onto another piece of card. In fact, I might. So I don't actually waste it. Let's have a little bit more in the centre. I think that'll do. Right, okay. So to, in order to clean my brushes, all I'm going to do is just get rid of the excess ink on a piece of, of uh, kitchen roll. I don't wash them. I don't keep one colour per thingy, per brush. Don't do that, just, just cleaning it off. See, there is quite a lot of ink in there. Okay, that's cleaning off for me. Let's pull this out of the way while we mop up that extra ink and some ink there so that we don't want to contaminate. Right, I have a piece of card. That'll do. So I've already got purple on this one, so it might wake up the purple. So we've got some yellow on there now as well. It's wasting it, doesn't it? It's the start of the background. Well, the back, these backgrounds are nearly dry now. You just flatten them out underneath your, your mat. Oh, it's doing now. Oh, this is driving me nuts. Um. Yes, I do try to post that quickly. It depends on Royal Mail and it also depends on what else I'm doing, obviously. Right, okay, so we've still got the, the tape in place. I 
I think we might, uh, oh, what colours, colours, colours. That's the thing. What, what colour to use? Um, shall I stick with the acorn? Yeah, let's stick with the acorn. driving me nuts today. I don't know why it's playing up. <laughs> she would. I've got Leonie for one of my shows actually uh, on Thursday, which is super exciting. So let's let's have it so that they're actually um, upwards. Don't worry about that because that's where the tape is. I think we're just going to have a, have a line of them. Let's just do that. This will look super cool when you take the masking tape, tape off. I think it will anyway. leaf as well the this one it, it comes with pixie uh, trixie and dixie and the idea is that the scampy fairies the naughty little fairies are walking along the dandelion and they do actually fit on the dandelion nicely now i didn't think that through and i'm gonna have half of one here which is a little bit annoying i should have gone halfway off the page on the other one Okay, so now we can take our tape off, do the reveal. There we go. Cool, isn't it? Super cool. And then we're going to stamp our Fifi. And as she's sitting on dandelions, we are actually going to have her blowing the dandelion seed as opposed to uh, blowing bubbles. If we can get the other sentiment on, let's have a look. Um, oh, I might be able to get that one instead. Right, so... Let's pop this in the stamping platform, which I have cleaned, so we shouldn't get anything um, on the bottom of my card. I like doing these border cards. These are so easy to do. See, I've got it all folded into the edge. And then we're gonna grab Fifi. And we're going to have her sitting on the dandelion here, like that. And we could, the sentiment we could have is, up there, don't wish to be anything but who you are. Let's have that because um, that kind of fits with the fact that she's wishing on the dandelion seeds maybe. Do you wish on dandelion seeds? I think you do, don't you? I think you do. Right, that's going there. Just so. There we go. Stamp those at the same time, and then all we need to do is stamp the bubbles. using the acorn again I do like this brown it's not as dark as the um, fallen leaves and the pine cone still squeaky I will never remember to, to I don't know if you can double to UD 40 those really I can't see all the things are available because I don't know if they are but we're not on TV so it doesn't matter I don't have to say that anyway Right, so that sentiment's absolutely fine. So we will take that off. We won't stamp that again, but we will stamp our um, Fifi so that she is nice and dark. Like 
I have to put it the way as I go, otherwise I'm going to be in a right old mess at the end. I'm so pleased that they've finished digging outside. I think they're just digging by hand now. Now they've done all the loud stuff. There we go. There she is, nice and dark. Right. So now all we need to do is give her her um, dandelion clock to blow so she like i say she comes with um dandelions or a little fairy uh, a bubble wand which is really cool so we're gonna just pop this in her hand just like that just like that give it a thingy and Light tapping, clear up my mess. And pop it in her hand. There we go. Oh, that was lucky, wasn't it? I've got a piece of acetate in there. So there we go. There's card number two. How cool is that? That's fine, Louise. Yeah, you've got to look after your dog first. That's two. Doing well. Doing well. Right, so on to card number three. I feel a bit impressed, won't he? Well, he probably won't. <laughs> it's all in the thinking, which takes ages. Right, let's put that away. So that's our Fifi. That very clean and simple kind of card, that one. This one's going to be a bit of an experiment. We're going to be using the Fox Den. This is, this is a, a different kind of uh, stamp for uh, fairy hugs. They've not done one like this before. And they did show them to me and I said, yeah, 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 that'd be great. That'd be great. And we've also got, we've got a bunny nest. So two little bunnies sitting in a nest. And we've also got, what was the other one? We've also got a bird nest as well. And you can actually, if you look at the acetate, you can actually pop them on top of this this um, bit there like that. So it can sit on there as per this one. So, so that will kind of work. So we're going to do something kind of similar. I've got an idea in my head. I don't know if it's going to work. So we're going to do it. And if it looks awful, it doesn't matter because it's not live telly. Right, so I'm on pure white card this time. Just, I just am, you know, no reason really. And what we're going to do is just do a little bit of jelly plate printing. And using my four inch brayer from Sentimentally Yours. And we're going to use, where's my greens? Well, in fact, I've got, probably got a big one actually, which have I? I'm going to use mode lawn distress ink, which is a lovely bright green. Don't want everything to fall over. There we go. Mode lawn. So we're going to just start just by this is quite a bright green, so we don't need too much of it. Just going to put a few taps. On my jelly plate and this is a four inch round and i do have this in stock and i also have the briar in stock so we're just braying over here just to make sure that it's all spread around you can't really see much there is quite a lot of ink on here so if you actually clean it off you can see you can put that on a piece of card and that could be the start of a background so uh, do make sure you clean that off if you especially if you're going to a lighter color um, just fix it with a bit of water. Talking of water, I'm going to get a fan brush and just dip it into some water and then just tap a 
over the top just with water and we know that distress ink reacts with water and then we're going to take a print probably bigger bigger blobs than I wanted oh no we're not taking a print yet oh, I didn't want to do that hang on let's let's just rewind that I've just remembered what I wanted to do I wanted to do something different you could do that and that'd be nice but I want to do something else sorry just rewind just rewind <laughs> oh my head that would be a nice print it would be a nice print but what I want to do is stamp on here and I've forgotten I wanted to stamp on here we might add some blobs as well so you can see what the blobs look like where are we stamp so I'm going for my um, frilly branches again doesn't matter which one and we're just gonna oh, this has been used a lot we're just gonna stamp very gently on the edge and we can see that we've got ink on there because it's come off don't press too hard because then you'll get the edge of your stamp don't worry if it overlaps we're not worried about that as it probably will because I can't remember where I started and I can't remember when I'm finishing remember to clean your stamp now we're going to take a print let's do let's do some little blobs as well because we can into my water am I getting some blobs I am now okay right So now we're going to take our print. Oh, that's dirty on that side. Let's do it on this side. Ignore the fact that I've got a rope on here. I can't get it off. It's first fine clear. Now we peel this away. And we've got our blobs. And we've also got our um, uh, leaves around the edges. So I told you it'd be quite nice. Oh, Ronnie, you can just watch back. You know, you could, you could, you could get some. Just get a couple, and just, um, just craft along. You know, rewatch the videos. Uh, you can pause them whenever you want to, and uh, just craft along. Be absolutely fine. Right. So we're going to go into our stamping platform. I mean, to be honest, I was, I was a little bit unsure about them originally because I'm not. I don't think I'm the best scene builder in the world, but you don't have to build scenes. You know, I look at Leone and she's just she's just brilliant at absolutely everything. And I think I can't do that. I can't do that. But honestly, it, it the more you get to know your, your stamps and there's, I mean, the design team from Fairy Hugs are amazing. And all you need to do is just copy what somebody else has done. So we're going to actually this time put the fox den right in the middle, right in the middle, because I want to do something around the edge. I'm not sure if it's going to look any good or not, but I, I want to try it. So why not try it in front of you guys? So we are going to go with the good old acorn yet again. This seems to be my go-to first fine clear at the moment. Lots of tapping. What are we doing for time? So any time within the next hour, I could get a delivery. But we won't worry about that. At least the window cleaner's not coming. Good, Caroline. Well done. It's all about confidence. I think if you tell yourself you can't do something, it's a bit like me, which is why um, um, Leone did one of the one day specials back in January. You know, I t told myself I couldn't do it. So therefore I couldn't. 
Uh, I don't think that needs a second bash, although I might. Just because I can. Well, that's, that's UPS, it's not TPD. We're all right. I'm not expecting UPS. Just give it another go, just so just to darken it a little bit. But I think that that, you know, on its own makes a tremendous card. Think about notelets and things like that. Um, I, I, I think they'd just be absolutely beautiful, you know. And this is, that's a four inch round. This is a five inch piece of card. So you could make it a little bit smaller if you wanted to. So what I thought was, I thought I'd add some bees around the edge. I'm not too sure about this though. I'm wondering whether to just add a bee border around. I'm gonna do it, let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'll probably mess it up as I go around because when I do do multiple stamping like this, I start going a bit quicker and I make a mess of it. See, we all make a mess, Ronnie, and um, we all d well don't know what we're doing half the time. In fact, I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. You just make it up as you go along. At the end of the day, it's just a piece of card, isn't it? Just a piece of card. So, let's get one of these bees. Let's go for, I don't know if, I don't want to go for the big one. There's three different sizes of the ones that go like that. Let's go for that one. And it'll fit on my tiny little block. And we're just going to do it with the acorn again. So the bees are great because the bees you can um, you can just colour in the wings with either glossy accents or your Sakura pen. I'm holding my breath here. I'm just following the line. <sighs> Made a mess of that one. Following the line of the circle. Around. I'm probably pulling it out of shot a little bit because I need to see what I'm doing. That's a better one. I tend to, I'm not too good with deep blocks, but this is a good little block to use. I'm out of stock of these at the moment. I need to order some more. It's funny, I put in, a, I put in an order with Phil and then five minutes later, something goes out of stock story of my life doesn't have to be perfect she says getting no excuses ready you watch the last one is the one i'll mess up story of my life this how's it looking it's fun anyway it's repetitive stamping it's fun i think you can do some pattern building with these bees actually put them um bottom to bottom which would be quite nice. Repeat stamping. Will, will this fit? Uh, it's always one that's too close together. But that'll do, won't it? What do you think? What do we think, everybody? I'm not going to be able to get a sentiment on there. <laughs> Um, Ronnie, they're not on my website until um, midnight um, on Thursday night because I don't, I don't, um, they launch um, at 6 p.m. tomorrow night on, on the craft store and then um, they do go live on the Fairy Hugs website, but that's in the States um, the same day. But I tend to hold back and um, although I've got them in stock, I can't. I don't actually put them live until after the one day special's finished. So I'll wait for that ink to dry. But you can see we pop that onto a piece of card like that. Maybe edge with uh, mowed lawn. I've got mowed lawn here somewhere. That's mowed lawn. Edge with a bit of mowed lawn. We could put. Um, we could colour in the bees if you wanted to. Um, they don't have to be yellow bees. Anything that you stamp can be whatever colour you want it to be. Um, 
just add an edge I haven't even had to re-ink I won't sit that down until the ink's dry but kind of works doesn't it just something I wanted to try Yeah, just a piece of card, just a piece of card. So that's number three. Number four. Right, we're going to work on this, which is upside down. And uh, we're going to... This This is uh, this stamp here called Make-A-Wish. And rather than do it over and 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 over in front of you i've just stamped it with um this one this is cheerful verse fine claire and i've just done second generation stamping which is why that that's that's covered in it um so stamp stamp it onto a piece of paper first and then stamp it second um and then you get a lovely kind of uh, subtle background so let's go into our stamping platform again and this is going to go in my journal These comments aren't filtering through at all. Facebook, what are you doing? Let's put that out of the way. That's UPS again. Right. Let's go in here. And we're going to do the daisies, which is an absolutely beautiful stamp. So the idea is that I'm up properly. Oh yeah, Trudy did some bees as well, didn't she? Yeah. There's a little it's little you get little five little bees just on their own in this set. So we're looking at having this. In fact, I might have to get my, let's get my big platform out, sorry. Because it's quite a big, it's a very large stamp, this one, very large stamp. Let's go for my ordinary white stamp. Stamping platform. I've been using it. I might have to do that one. Right, I'll have to do this one because I can't find the other one. Goodness knows where it is. Right, so this is why I lose my magnets because I fetch them out of my platforms. That one is out of this one anyway. Right, so let's go back. Back, 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 back. back. Right. So, put this in here. Let's jut it up against this side first of all. You do need to make sure I've got a little bit of uh, brown on, on uh, my stamp, so it's a good idea to clean your stamp if, if you're going to stamp with a lighter colour because it does pick it up for some unknown reason. Right, so. Let's get my daisy. So my day, the idea is that my daisy is going to go on first, which I need to move it up a bit so it fits. That's going to go on like that. I don't mind it being off the page a bit because what we need to do, let's fetch that off a minute. So what we that's Tate's great. So what we need to, do, what I want to do is I want to have my bunny. My bunny's going to just sit down here like that. Then we're going to bring in the morels. So there's two of the morels here, and I might actually have both of them. And then we're going to bring in. Obviously, not going to stamp this all at once. Then we're going to bring in. This is Bryla. And she's going to be sitting on the top there. And then hopefully we can bring in 
So this is what I do. I put all of my stamps on where I want to work and figure out where they're going to work, whether they're going to work um, or not. Yeah, I'm doing exactly the same. I'm having to refresh all the time. So that should go on like that. So that's going to be my layout, kind of, right. But it's a little bit plain at the bottom. So first of all, I'm going to fetch it all out of here and I'm going to um, add a little bit of um, foliage down the bottom. In fact, way of foliage, what, I'm going to, um, what I mean is I'm going to put some green stuff. So instead of stamping, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Lavinia uh, Acetate Hill Masks, which you do have in stock at the moment. And we're going to just grab that hilly one there. And I think we will go for the mowed lawn because it's a little bit darker than some of the other greens. Just pop some on here. And we'll start up a little bit first of all. Lovely bright green mode lawn is. Doesn't have to be too dark. Okay. Just a little suggestion and then we'll just do a little bit extra down the bottom. Should have moved it over a bit, really. Okay. So there's a, there, there's a our bottom bit. Right, so we need to clear this up. So this needs cleaning because if I don't clean it now, I will pick it up and use it on something that like pink or something, and then it will be a mess. I'll clean the mask in a minute. That's not a problem. And I've got another piece that I need to mop up onto. I could go onto onto that. Let's see what this looks like. Obviously, there's still some more um, ink on the mat, but it's going like mud now because it's converged with the other colour that I had. Okay, right, so we've got, got something for everybody to sit on now. Go back into my platform. This is where best laid plans go totally awry because I've taken it off. But I've got an idea of where I want everything to be. So we're going to go first of all with our daisy, our beautiful daisy. Let's have it arching round a bit more, perhaps. Let's do that. Fa, 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 fa. And we can actually put on, while we're at it, do a couple of stamps at a time. Let's put the morels on. So we'll have one up there. And we'll have the smaller one just down below. Like that. And there should be still room for my bunny. Where's my bunny? What's my bunny? Where's my bunny, money? There he is. Still room for my bunny. Shall I do him? No, I won't do him again. I'll do him in a minute. Right. Fa, 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 fa. Put that there. Let's not break with tradition. Let's go for the acorn verse fine and clear again. Just refresh again. Oh, sorry. I don't like using this one on here because it does that sort of thing. 
these beautiful daisy this is pro i think this is the most expensive uh, of the stamps that are on the show because obviously it's a huge stamp and i've made quite a mess because i'm very heavy-handed hopefully that won't transfer I think we'll be all right. Especially if I don't press that bit. Hopefully I'm in shot. Lots of pressing. Because I'm not anchored at the bottom, I'm going to peel it away really carefully so that I can see where we're at. Yeah, we need to just re-ink again. I'm sorry, I'm just looking to see if there's a delivery. <coughs> Ink again. Not sure. I think the vans can get past the, all the digging. They are photopolymer stamps and not acrylic stamps. And I know that anybody that on here who's actually received um, fairy hog stamps will um, agree with me that they are very good quality. Let's see how we are now. That looks good to me. Yep. So we can fetch these stamps off. A bit of putting away be careful when you're pulling this one off because it is quite large and you don't want to damage it and where did i put my acetate for that one there it is okay and then we want my morels i've not seen any uh morel mushrooms on um stamps before and they're uh, they're really lovely obviously you can color in the gaps if you want to no, i think they're um like a creamy color aren't they in real life but they can be whatever color you want them to be fairy wings are very nice to color in the daisies are great to color in as well so now let's add our broiler she's gonna she's 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 just sitting on top of the morel hopefully if i haven't done it too high i've done it too high oh, that's annoying right okay so we can't use her oh. see best laid plans and all that so we're going to use one of the others we're going to use tara instead which is fine we're just fine tara there she is Tara's just sitting on the edge there, like that. And we're going to have, it's because I've moved them up because I've got them sitting on my hills and things. In fact, it's floating on a hill there. That wasn't very well done, Julia, at all. Right, where's my bunny? Bunny, 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 bunny. And the bunny's going to come down here like that and then the other stamp we're going to put on is our sentiment which is the same one that i've stamped in the background but we're going to do it in the brown so it's going to fit nicely just about fits just about fit and my bunny ears there okay i think that's straight We'll soon find out, won't we? Yeah, it's not. Ooh, 
Oh, sorry. Make sure I get it all in. Fa 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 fa. Does that look straight? I think it does. Right, we're going to go for it. Going to go for it. You haven't got all day, have you, to watch me? Anyway, I think that Bryla would have been very nice um, just squatting on the... We could just do a very quick one with her. Right. Hopefully Z is not overlapping the sentiment. We'll soon find out, won't we? No, it isn't. Looks good. Looks good. Right, we're going to just give... He looks fine. I'm just going to give Bryla some more ink. So I'm going to fetch the sentiment off because that looks absolutely fine. And the bunny. The bunny's fine as well. The only reason I'm in the big platform is because uh, the daisy was off the page. That's the only reason. There she is, all done. Fetch her out. Put her away in a minute. So that's where we're at. So if we pop that into our. A bit annoyed about that. Might be able to add some more ink in in a minute. That goes into our journal. I will edge that with ink as well and colour it in, probably colour the daisies in. But that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? If you're commenting, I can't see it. I don't know why there's no comments showing. So I don't know what's going on with this at all. So I'll have to read them later and reply to you later. So I'm really sorry. So let's just, just do, I mean, that's four demos, right? Um, obviously, I've not coloured that in and I will colour the daisies in because the in fact, I'll show you. Uh, here's one. This is based on one that uh, Shu Min did uh, on the Fairy Hugs um, design team. And so that's a kind of a similar kind of thing. Um, again, that's uh, Tara, not uh, Bryla, but the daisies look fab coloured in. So let's put that to the side and very quickly grab. Uh, what were we going to do? Oh, yeah, I know what we were going to do. We were going to put. Do, let's do a quick little one because they don't always have to be big ones. And we go on our watercolour card. So this is just an A6 card, just like the uh, second one that we did. So oh, let's just tidy this up because I'm going to be in a bit of a mess. That's not belonging to that. That's belonging to that. And where else? That belongs to that. Where's the other bit of the bunny? Where's the other bit of the bunny? This will be where the DPD chat turns up. Not that one though. Right, so let's. We, we're looking at Bryla, aren't we? That's who we were looking at. And she was going to sit on a morel mushroom. You see, would it fit on there? She, if I put it right at the bottom, it'll fit. And then what we could do is bring in our don't sentiment. 
Or we could bring in, I'll tell you what we could bring in. We could bring in, there's another, there's, there's, lo there's quite a few sentiments actually. There's this one. Wishing you fairies in your life, stardust in your soul and magic in your days. So we could just do that, but that's a little bit plain. So let's have something to start with. So we'll do a jelly plate print. So we're going to use those. Let's do just a jelly plate print, I think. Gel plate. We need to just clean off this because it's green. We don't want green. That's green too. Let's just miss this quickly. This will be the last one. Get your money's worth today. Just a case of playing. That's all it is. Just a case of playing. I mean, I've got a massive long list of things that we can do with these. And I have only seen what you've seen from the design team. I haven't seen anything else. And every time I see something, I think, oh, I could do that. Oh, that was a good one. I'm going to nick that idea. So there's some fabulous ideas. There's a beautiful peacock stamp as well. Oh, I could do one of those for you. That's not, we'll save that. We have to save some things. Right, so let's go back to our mustard seed. Distressing. Lots of tapping onto our gel plate. Still on the four inch round. Spread that around. Same old, same old. It's just a quick thing to do. Do a bit of tapping with the old water. Nathan will be checking up in a minute. He doesn't like me going more than an hour. Especially when he wants to play music. Okay, bit of tapping. Just water. And then we're going to print that off the edge of the page. Oh, get a dirty mark on there again. Right, let's go off the edge of the page. Make sure I clean that there. Okay, it's getting warm now. Right, so that's our starting point. So now we need to put the morels in. Hopefully, Ronnie, you're seeing how easy this is because it really is. Um, Nothing to be scared about, nor the fact that I was scared. Right, so put the morels in. I know it's got to go at the bottom, because otherwise I'm not going to get broiler in. So we're going to pop right the way down at the bottom. And I'm not going to put another one in just yet. I'm going to just put that one in. Sticking with acorn again, because it goes. It seems to go with the colourways I'm using. I will upload this video to YouTube and I'll take pictures of the um, what we what I've made as well after I've coloured the daisies in. Okay, so there's our first morel. I'm not going to do anything else until I get broiler on. Just beautiful. They look fabulous when you colour in the wings. And I've just been using the uh, Sentimental Yours watercolour blending brush pens. So she's going to just sit. Don't worry if the wings go off the page a bit. That's absolutely fine. Just shows a bit of movement. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. And this will go off the page. So I'll have to clean my stamping platform. Cleans off with water. And I am using the card already folded. I do tend to do that because then I can actually use the smaller platform. See how she looks. 
She looks pretty good. Let's just give her another just on her body. You just need to be patient with them and um, know that because they're silhouettes, you, you, all silhouette stamps, you'll need to stamp a couple of times, which is why the stamping platforms are excellent. There we go, there she is. And where she sat on top of the morel, when you go into a second application of the ink, you can't actually see the interference of the pattern underneath, which is super. It doesn't always work, but if you go in dark onto light, or, you know, a double application of ink on, then it, it works. Right, so there she's on there. Then we're going to grab our sentiment. This one's called Stardust Magic. In fact, we could probably bring in the bunny again. Let's bring in the bunny again. That's going up there. It's not a dirty mark. And let's have the bunny looking up at her again because the bunny, the bunny's thinking, what is it with these fairies and them morel mushrooms? They all seem to like sitting on the top of them. What are they like? I think these are great for stories for kids. Do we, do we bring in the other one? Maybe we bring in the other one as well. Let's bring in the other one as well. Because I quite like the little one. Yeah, let's have that. Nearly finished. Tap, 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 tap. up a bit just in case you don't need to press as hard with the sentiment Let's see where we're at he looks pretty good just gonna go a little bit more Don't need the sentiment on again. Oop. There we go. So there we are. We've had got five demos done during this Facebook Live. It's an hour and a quarter, so, you know, not too bad. So we've got this one I've just finished. We've got that one, which obviously I need to colour in. That was the first one that we did. And we also did that one. And we also did, where's the other one gone? Oh, this one, this one. That one. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I can't tell because there's no comments <laughs> coming through. Uh, good old Facebook. Um, so, um, oh, yes, I see. <laughs> right, so I hope you've enjoyed that. And, uh, oh, very good. <laughs> That's really funny, Caroline. Thank you. <laughs> so don't forget that uh, the Fairy Hoods One Day special starts at 6pm tomorrow, that's Wednesday, um, and uh, continues at 8pm tomorrow, and then we've got 8, 12 and 4 on Thursday, as long as stocks last, and, um, and if you're buying from the craft store, then do make sure that you do actually buy during the One Day special, I mean, I know the One Day special prices are, are there, um, um, and then they change after 6 p.m. anyway but also fairy hugs will be probably packing on friday to send the stuff over things don't stay in a brand shop but do have a look at the brand shop when we go live actually just in case there's any extra stamps that are, are actually available up for grabs that aren't actually on the shows um but do remember that the 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 whole catalogue is available on my website um everything up until the new release is available now uh, unless i'm out of stock there's not many i'm out of stock of 
and um, then the new stuff will be available on my website from midnight on Thursday night. So thanks again for joining me and I will see you on the telly box tomorrow. Bye.